In this video, we will be doing some experiments with worms. In the other video, we talked about worms and how they are important for the soil. In this video, we will explore how worms react to different situations. If you would like to participate in this video, you will need to gather some supplies. A petri dish with a lid, or you can use a shallow bowl or plate that has sides on it. You will need a wet paper towel, you will also need a dark cloth or piece of paper. And of course, you're gonna need a worm. Now that we've gathered our supplies, let's start with the first experiment, light. Take your dish and place it on a flat surface. Next, take a paper towel and wet it until it is just damp. Make sure to wring out the extra water. We don't want it to be soggy. Place the paper towel in the dish like this. This helps to keep the worm nice and moist so it can breathe. Now place the worm in the center of the Petri dish and put the lid back on. This helps to keep the worm in place because they like to escape. Next, take your cloth and cover half of the Petri dish. Now, we watch and see what the worm does. So which side of the dish did the worm like better? The light side? or the dark side. It seemed to like the dark side better. So let's think about it. Why would a worm like the dark? Where do they live? Worms live in the soil. And in the soil, it's very dark. So the soil is like their home, and if their home is dark, they're probably gonna feel safe and secure in a place where it is dark. For our next experiment, we will be looking at moisture. So uncover your dish and take the worm out. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take your paper towel and only put it on half of the dish. And then we are going to dry the other side off, like so. Okay. Now we are going to put our worm back into the petri dish in the middle. And then we're going to put the lid back on so he doesn't escape. Now we observe to see where the worm goes. So which direction did the worm move to? He probably went to the wet side, didn't he? So why would a worm do that? Why would they like to be wet? Well, let's think about how they breathe. Worms breathe through their skin and moisture helps them to breathe through their skin. So if a worm gets dried out, they will die because they can't breathe. So for our next experiment, we will be looking at sound. So let's reset our Petri dish. Put your worm back in there. And now we're gonna leave the lid off for this experiment. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your worm in the middle like so. And then using a pencil or your finger, gently tap one side of the dish on either side of the worm. Like this. Now watch what the worm does. He starts to move away from this sound. Now, can worms actually hear like you and I do? No, but they can feel vibrations. And when they feel those vibrations, they think that it's a predator, such as a bird or a mole. And so they either try to get away or they'll freeze up, hoping that they won't be seen. Well, I hope you enjoyed our little worm experiments and that you learned some facts about worms. What other experiments can you do on worms? 
Try some more at home. Oh, 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 oh